Hey there guys, what's going on? It's John from JTB Metal um, Reviews here. Just wanting to talk to you guys really quick. It's about the King Diamond Studio record called Voodoo. Um, so let's start this off with some facts. It was released February 24th, 1998. The length is 61 minutes, going over an hour. We're on Massacre label once again. No Roadrunner, no Metal Blade. We ain't doing that shit here. Um, producer is King Diamond. So... Let's start this off with the album art, which is definitely cool. It's got like the little house over on the corner with the trees, and it definitely gives you a little spooky vibe. Um, the album cover was drawn by, um, I believe his name is Christian Wallen, um, and the album was remastered in 2009. Um, obviously, this whole record has a whole concept story. I'm not going to go over it, but it is actually a really cool story, and I highly suggest you go and read about it, because it definitely helps you with the record. One thing about King Diamond that's really cool is his storytelling. Amazing storyteller. Um, you know, honestly, he should be an author, man. He's really, really good. But, um, so, one cool fact about this one is there's a hidden track um, after Aftermath on the last one and it was only on the European release and it's basically Unclean Spirits just played backwards and it's, it gives it like a little spooky creepy vibe to it and it's actually really really cool um, but let me talk about the credits here um, we have King Diamond on vocals, Annie LaRock on guitar, Herb uh, Simonson once again, Chris Estates new drummer um, John Luke Hebert and we actually had a feature here by Dimebag Daryl himself. He played the guitar solo on the song Voodoo, um, which is actually really, really cool knowing that King Diamond was on that. I mean, not King Diamond, but um, Dimebag Daryl, which just solidifies King Diamond's just amazing, just, just you know, it, it kind of just ke gives King Diamond that, that upper edge of knowing just how amazing he really is coming from Dimebag himself, from the, just the Thrash Master, just killing it, you know, with the super heavy Pantera type riffs, amazing, he puts in on this, um, I thought that was a really, really cool, um, you know, little feature in there, I did not know this until I started, um, reviewing this record, and, um, you know, I did a little research on it, but besides that fact, let's go ahead and start the review on the 14 tracks, so, number one, Feature by Dimebag. Amazing. Um, stunning, stunning vocals on this by King Diamond. This might be the best vocal performance he's ever done on this. Um, but um, the thing that takes away from this record a lot, though, is the, just the, the mid-pace of the record. You know, it kind of just, you know, it finds its way. It, it's like, you know moderately paced metal I guess you could call it. It, it, it it's it's good but it's not fast um so I, I don't know it's something you could chill to but you know one thing that lacks that I know for sure and you know you're just not used to it and uh, John Luke Hebert he tried but the drums are definitely lacking on this um, I don't know if it was like the production on the drums or something but the drums just are lacking big time um, and you know, just the mid pace tempo, you know, it's just, it just does not sound like King Diamond. Um, this one, you know, you're going to want to listen to once, maybe if that, and then you're going to leave it at that because it's just not one you can go back to. It's not like an Abigail. It's not a fatal portrait. It's just, it's not, you know, um, and unfortunately this record just does not live up to, to the standards that I, I really thought. But considering, you know, the really cool story behind this, considering Dimebag's um, guitar solo on Voodoo, and considering how really good the vocals are on this one, I'm going to have to rate it at a, a 7. Um, this is going to get another 7, just like Graveyard did. Um, if it wasn't for Dimebag, and if it really, really wasn't for the vocal performance, this one would really be down a lot, like a good 4 to 5. I'm just not feeling the mid pace or uh, the mid pace um, metal. I'm just the the drums. See, I, I, the drums. Uh, I just I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. Um, Voodoo is definitely the worst record that King Diamonds put out. Um, I'm just not digging this at all. 
It's a great record. I don't mind it, but it's just not something I'm going to go back to a lot. I might listen to this record once a year, if that. I'm not. It's just not great. It's not good. It's average. That's it. So we're going to move on to The House of God, which came out in 2000, and I will see you guys there. <laughs> 